Hey guys, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm gonna tell you about how I managed to get 118 out of 120 on the TOEFL exam. So if you're interested, hang on. Hi, I'm Don Corey. I'm an executive at Most good universities that require TOEFL will expect you to score between 90 and 105. For most universities in the US and Canada, it is mandatory to take this test. I'm going to share with you the methods that I use to train for this test and I actually cleared it in less than 5 days with 118. Yes, I started studying for the TOEFL literally 5 days before the exam. Here's how I did it. The first most important thing when it comes to the TOEFL test is goal setting. You need to find out what the average TOEFL score is for your shortlisted universities and then set your goal a little above what your schools actually need. I set my goal at 110 and I surprised myself with 118. Now, as part of goal setting, you should also set a date for the test and book your test. Because once you've booked your test, it's locked and loaded. You cannot move it and you have to study before that date and make sure that you, you pass the exam and you now have to start working backwards from that date. Okay, the second secret. Get familiar with the test. The TOEFL has four sections. Reading, writing, listening and speaking. Each section is made up of 30 marks if you're taking the internet-based version of the test. The best way to get familiar with the test style is to actually take practice tests online. There's a ton of that available. In fact, the ETS website, the ETS is the company that make, built the TOEFL, uh, they have practice tests on their website as well. The link is in the description. I took two practice tests that gave me a benchmark score for myself. On the first test, I scored a 90 because I took it too casually. But on the second one, I my score went up all the way to 110, which was my benchmark, which was my target. The next big secret, which is actually not a secret, is start preparing seriously. The best way to prepare for the test is to complete the easier sections first. For most of us, the reading section is typically the most familiar one. I was good at reading comprehension in school, so for me this one was a breeze. I literally completed learning this section in less than 3 hours. That's it, I did not look at it ever again before the test. The reading section on the TOEFL is pretty elementary if you think of it. So don't try to complicate it too much. It's a paragraph followed by a set of questions and they are always in sequence. What I mean is the answer to the first question will most likely fall in the first part of the paragraph and the answer to the last question will typically fall in the last part of the paragraph. So don't start reading all the way from the top to the bottom even for your last question. This section takes about 60 to 80 minutes on the test and has 35 to 56 questions. You will need to read between three to four passages, all from academic tests uh, and uh, lectures, and then answer those questions. The next section I went for was listening. In this section, they play lectures, classroom discussions, and conversations, and then they make you answer questions based on what you heard. This one can get a bit nerve wracking because it's typically someone uh, with a US English accent uh, and you're not familiar with that as international students uh, but there are some easy and fun ways to practice for this section and the best and easiest way is watching American movies. Now in most of the voice sections of the TOEFL it's a single person speaking. It's like sort of a monologue. It's hard to find movies that are mostly monologue so one of the best movies that, uh, that I feel has a lot of that uh, the monologues is The Man From Earth. This is what I watched and the best part is that the main characters of this movie are all university professors. You can watch this movie for free on YouTube, I'll also put a link in the description. But um, my other favorite monologue movies that I watched during the TOEFL uh, was Forrest Gump and the second was uh, 
curious case of Benjamin Button. These are great monologue movies. So make sure you watch these movies without the subtitles. If you understand them well without subtitles, then the listening section is going to be pretty easy for you as well. You will be provided with a notepad for this test. So you can take notes of the important points that you hear uh, during the conversation. That's played for you. Uh, my problem is that I cannot really multitask, so I cannot write and listen at the same time with ease. So I just skipped making notes and I relied completely on my memory. The other two sections on the test are writing and speaking. These sections make a lot of students nervous. So uh, I will do a, a separate elaborate video on just these two sections. But the best part about writing and speaking is that you don't need to write or speak forever. Uh, my friends told me that they wrote five to six paragraphs in their writing section of the TOEFL and they actually scored very low. Um, and I know their writing skills because they were from my school and they write really well. Whereas I wrote only one paragraph sometimes on my uh, TOEFL and I scored a full 30 uh, on 30 in my writing section. I will give you some tips about that on, on another video. Um, focus on quality over quantity. I cannot stress this enough guys. Remember that the TOEFL examiners are not looking for quantity. They are only looking for articulate and precise answers. Also these examiners are also, they're, they're people like you and me and they get tired after examining so many people's TOEFL tests. The more concise you are the better. So even if you can answer a question with just one word or one sentence, that's okay. I just focused a lot on my grammar and vocabulary uh, uh, with my short answers and I made sure that the short answers were pitch perfect. Now, the next big item, the day before the exam. On the day or the evening before the exam, stop studying for the test. Yes, stop studying. There is enough research to prove that last minute study does not help in exams like TOEFL. You should rather watch a couple of more American movies, do some light reading and chill. Eat healthy and hydrating foods so that your brain is fresh on the day of the test. The D-Day. It's finally here, the day of the test. There are some things you need to be prepared for on this day. You would most likely be taking the computer-based TOEFL test. So computers are not perfect, right? For example, during my TOEFL exam, the system crashed twice and I had to call for help. I spent a whole extra hour at the test center because of these issues. But the test center people are very well trained to handle such issues. So don't panic if your computer crashes or your mic is not working. They have the ability to give you extra time to complete the section because it's not your fault. In fact, I was lucky because the system crashed right after I got to my speaking question and I, uh, and I read through it and uh, I literally got an extra few minutes to prepare my speech. Um, the other thing is carry a bottle of water and an energy chocolate like a Snickers bar. You will get a break in the middle uh, of the test. Chocolates are really good for calming your brain down and at the same time providing an instant energy boost to your brain. Get to know your test center and directions so that you don't get late or you arrive late at the test. Arrive early, get familiar with the center, close your eyes for a few moments, take deep breaths and then just go nail the test. I prepared for about five days and managed to get 180. Thanks to that, I was able to get my dream admits and come to America. I want to help all of you get the same or get better scores than me. So post your comments and your feedback. Remember to like and share my video with others who need help on the TOEFL exam. See you soon on another video. Bye.